My name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome to Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. A fishing simulator, and just as a quick little disclaimer, uh, the key was provided by the developer, so thank you for that. And let's go ahead and just, you know, casually move forward. So, um, I went on ahead and played it a little bit, just to kind of get a small grasp on it while I got the recording right, made sure everything was right. Um... And yeah, so that's a bit of a disclaimer on that too. But we're gonna go ahead and create a profile here. And we're just gonna create a normal profile. So the reason, like realistic is pretty nice. I, that's what I tested on, but I wanted to try out the underwater uh, camera. So I'm gonna try uh, normal there. And you can pick any gender you like. And as for my name, I'll just put in. And off we go. Okay, so. We start with 200 bucks. I don't know what this right here is. Friends, maybe? Trophies? I have no idea. Uh, we start off with some quests. You can spend fin seven minutes on any fishing spot. Uh, catch 1.5 kilograms of a single species of yellow perch. Catch 10 kilograms of a single species of rainbow trout. Then you have weekly quests. And we need, we need quest points to unlock the weeklies and stuff. So you just have to do the daily quests. Okay, so... And then we have skills, which, you know, you can unlock to, uh, you know, decrease prof uh, the amount of stuff, increase your sales, a whole lot of stuff in there. And then, of course, you can go into the shop. And there's a fair bit in here. A lot of it's locked off early on because, you know, you have to be a higher level. So and you also need way more money. Like, look at this thing. Like, really? 600? Um... And if you go to equipment, you can see you start off with a fair bit. Now, the other thing, though, is you can purchase some bait. So I think that's funny. You can use, you can use bread, really? And just buy a bunch of bread here. Hang on. All right, let's go to equipment. Really? 190 bread? That's actually really amusing. I'll use bread on the second. Uh, I have no idea what to say to that. Okay. Alright, so let's go fishing here. Would we like a tutorial? Nah, screw it. We don't tutorial anything. Um, yeah, I'll just go here. So I have to fish in the same exact spot for seven minutes. That's the goal here. You know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do all this fishing. Okay, so the camera's a little floaty. It's, it's actually running at 60 FPS, but the camera is a little floaty. Um, so we're just gonna stand right here. We'll hit one. Bring out our fishing pole here. Wow, this has a lot of extra stuff that Realistic did. And you can also hit G to get rid of the UI, but it literally gets rid of all the UI, so... You may or may not end up liking that. Okay, I might have found that out too far. Okay. Now we hit tab here. We have a little. Uh... Let's see. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, see. Nice little underwater camera there. We can look around. We're just gonna sink down to the bottom, aren't we? Yeah. And this is interesting. Truthfully and honestly, it was in some ways it felt kind of easier on. Uh... Oh, wow. It even. Uh... Oh. Ah. Fish broke. Darn. Wow, I've actually never had that happen to me. So that's actually really amusing that that happened. It didn't happen at all in realistic. And by the way, in realistic mode, you don't have any of that HUD stuff. Uh, in my opinion, play in realistic mode. Um, look at that beautiful bread. Just chilling there. Look at that. It's glowing too. Oh yeah. 
like the holy grail for for fish, you know. We got it. it just glows. Ah, there we go. I do like the underwater sounds, though. Just, uh... Chill out here for a little bit. I mean, this is fishing simulator, so you know, just relaxing and and the levels do look pretty good. Um, I saw in the press kit there was a bit of extra, you know, um, yeah, there 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 was a little bit of extra, uh, what you call it, um, like screenshots and stuff like that. So. Uh, there was there was actually some pretty decent stuff there. I'm thinking I actually prefer my other fishing pole, believe it or not. Uh not really a big fan of this one. Yeah, so what is it? It's... Oh, wow. Um, so... Okay. So one thing we can do is, even from, like, where we are right there... Um, I don't really want a feeder basket. Uh, we gotta get some hooks. So, I have no idea what would be the best hook here. Um, but this is only 650. So, an now. And then for bait. Alright, that, that needs to get out of the way because it was stopping me from clicking the bait here. Um, let's do natural. Oh, I don't have any. Ah, here we go. Lures. Let's see here. Ah. This seemed to work oh a little better. Um so what we'll do is we'll go into equipment, go to set one. And this is all back to normal, I believe. Do you not? Okay. This should be back to the way it was before, I believe. Yes. Excellent. All right. You know, I again, I say, but I actually had a way easier time in realistic mode. Then, uh, than I did in this particular mode, which I find uh, fairly amusing. No, it is, it is still, like, a little buggy. I mean, after all, this game is coming out in early access in a little bit. And uh, there we go. Yeah, see, that worked much better. Nice. Grass pickerel, which really doesn't contribute to uh, much of anything. So now you have some choices. If you keep them, you can sell them, and, you know, you get some experience, like in this particular case. Or you can release them, get more XP. We're just going to release them. Um, yeah, that was way better and that's gonna probably hook on the ground there probably no okay 
But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good looking game. Uh, and for those of you watching this and wondering, yeah, this is literally the whole game here. Naturally, of course. Oh, it's a fish. Yeah, it's come to me. There we go. <laughs> You're mine now. Nice. Pumpkin seed. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can hit C, and then, you know, he'll kind of display it. And it's actually really funny, because, one, I don't know how to change the appearance of my character there. And we're just going to release this thing, by the way. But the other thing is, um, also, that fish, I guess, looked like that. I can't remember. I'm about to watch the, the replay there. I don't really recall it looking like that, but yeah. you keep a, if you get a particularly impressive one, uh, you know, I guess you could just uh, oh. know how I feel about the underwater camera. Um, nice. Like, I don't know. I, I, My stance on the underwater camera is... My stance on this entire mode is realistic is better. Playing realistic. That's kind of, you know... It's not... I mean, it is a little easier because, you know, you actually have some some feedback as far as, you know, this goes. Um, but, uh, yeah. I guess I'm getting kind of close to the shore, huh? Yeah. Because, uh, you know, it's not like real life, right? You know, so you hit escape here. Then you go to... Uh, oh, can you... You can't access the quest stuff until, I guess, you leave this. Well, that makes sense, I guess, right? Like, oh, that's fine. Oh, interesting. It went straight into that mode this time. Not really sure why, but all right. Ow. Nah. All right, go into the shop, go into lures. Soft lures there. Get me my... <laughs> get me my really cheap one. I'm sure they're going to grab like 10 of them. Maybe they're free for whatever bizarre reason. And I'm going to put on my little soft lure. Nice. Let's also back out there. Yeah, F3 to hide that. All right. Look at its spin. Mesmerizing it is. That's right. Although, I do like the underwater camera, and I imagine in some areas, it's probably very, like, um, yep, pretty looking. 
Uh, and, and now that we've completed it... Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, seriously? Uh... Okay, that that broke. Lovely. Did it glitch out? Okay, I'm just gonna. I think it glitched out there. Which that's uh. That's super cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit location. I'm gonna go back to the thing because that 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 totally glitched out. I I couldn't do anything. I couldn't switch. Uh, we'll go to quests here. We'll get our reward. So we get some money. Uh, we go to our profile. We have 15 XP. Uh, apparently we have a residence. Let's go there and check that out really quick. And then we'll go back to fishing. Oh my goodness. I'm like a super wealthy dude. Because good lord. <laughs> I mean, wow. Uh, I mean, these paintings and stuff are beautiful. And, and this, this room is... You know, extremely nice, but geez. And feed the fish. And I'm like a super wealthy dude here, like for real, like. I mean, yeah, okay. We're just going to exit that location. Um, yeah. All right. So we need to get some equipment here. Okay. So we're using the UFE mono clear line. It's kind of crappy. Um, we need a better line. So we'll go to the shop. We'll look at the different lines. Maybe we can actually buy some better line. Maybe. Uh, I'm just going to buy this. It's the only other line I can buy. It's uh, almost double. I'll go to our equipment here. And I'll just use this. And then for here. Oh, is that already used in the 16? Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, do not show this again, please. No. All right. And also, it can like rain and stuff as well. Um, and there's a bunch of different places we can go to. Uh, but we'll just stay here and I'm wondering if eventually they'll add you know more fishing locations throughout early access I imagine they will I don't see why they wouldn't all right let's not fish here let's go fish somewhere else let's go like over here or something and you can sprint this is me sprinting by the way you can also jump all right got my Muckbishin' pole. Excellent. Then you can go into here. I don't even know if there's any fish in this area. Guess we're gonna find out. And the lovely debris. Which, thankfully, does not hook your line. You know. Yeah, and, and press and hold. Seriously, though, like, what is with developers and, you know, pressing and holding? Ah, yellow perch. It's, uh, it's so small. We'll just release it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're not going to go to the dock because I don't want to stand on that thing anymore. I'm going to put the fishing pole away. Um, but what we're going to do is I want to see if we can't maybe nab. Nice big one. I'm going to stand on these rocks here because it's, you know, better scenery. We're just going to yeet this way out here, hopefully. No idea where that went. All right. Yeah. Playing a game that requires an enormous amount of patience for YouTube is very interesting because, you know, unless you like fishing, you're not going to enjoy just sitting out here. Although, you know, potentially this could be a pretty good game for, like, uh... You know, like a nice, casual, just relaxing live stream. 
Potentially, anyway. Alright. Let's go reel him in. Nice. Nice bluegill. 0.27 kilograms. And we're just going to release him. We could go once again. You can keep him if you like. Uh, right now, probably leveling is probably better. So let's try our other fish and pull. Let's, uh, let's give this thing a good old try. Actually, you know what? I think I will go back to the dock just because there was an area I could stand. And I want to see if I can't get one of those really nice big ones. All right. You know, one of the ones that snapped my damn line. Yeah, one of those. Okay. Oh, yeah, you also have a flashlight. You can hit F and have a flashlight, which can be kind of useful. You know, in its own... In its own way. Oh, yeah, that's right. I really don't need to check this, do I? Because, uh... What you call it? Um, this mode will tell me when I actually hook a fish, which can be kind of interesting on realistic. Uh, sometimes you can hook something and there's no pull or anything. Which I don't know if that's a bug or not, but that happened to me when I was testing it for all of like like, like ten minutes. Um, so I've officially played longer than I did before. So I mean, you know, there's that. Yeah, we're just going to chill out with our cheap bread. Can I zoom in out? Nope. You can change the speed. I think you can hold, like... Uh, you change the drag as well. I remember what that was though. I'm just gonna chill out. Just relax. You know, me and my buddy Eric, we like uh we like fishing in MMOs, which is one reason why I uh wanted to give this game a try, because I don't think I've played a fishing game other than fishing simulator for BBS. Uh in probably since like does anyone here remember like the Sega Dreamcast fishing game? What was it, Bassmaster or something? I cannot remember what that thing was. Um, I really and thoroughly enjoyed playing that game. I used to go over to my cousin's house and play it because he actually had a Dreamcast. And um, you know, the, the best part about it was um, you know, he had that, you know, the fishing pole. And, uh, you know, you could use the fishing pole. I, I really enjoyed that. Okay, I really, really am just going to... I think, all right, so I think you can hit O. Then, I don't know. You know, I'll just reel it in. If I hook something, I'll hook something. Yeah, that's right. Just dragging it in there. Yeah, that's right. Fear my... Glorious fishing pole. All right, we're going to go back to, to one here. And uh, same thing as before, but okay, that was way too far out. Anyway, so we go over to my cousins and we'd play for hours. That and Gauntlet, of course. You know, can't have a Dreamcast and not play Gauntlet. But he also had the N64 and the Dreamcast version of Gauntlet, which made things like very strange because. I don't know if you've ever played those two versions, but they're actually quite a bit different from each other, which I find extremely amusing. Um, big one. Big one. Gotta have patience here, everyone. Patience. 
Well, the new line seems to be a pretty darn good idea because, yeah, I don't like I said, I, I kind of prefer uh, realistic mode. I, I don't like all these indicators and notifications. It's too much clutter on the screen. Um, realistic mode doesn't really have anything other than a little bit on the left and the very top right, which tells you what you're using. And other than that, yeah, it's got none of this stuff. All right, come on now. Come on. Come on. You're only like eight meters, eight and a half meters out. You can do it. Come on, buddy. Ah, don't go up underneath the dock. What's wrong with you? Oh, here we go. Yes. What did we get anyway? Okay, I can't even see it. A brown bullhead. Nice. How much does this thing weigh? Almost, almost a kilogram. Wow. I almost want to keep it just because it's so impressive. Oh, really? It's only worth six XP? Screw it. We're going to keep it. Like, I'm, I'm keeping this. All right, let's, uh, we're going to just eat this out here. That was nice. So that's something I'm probably, like, if I, I think I'm going to play this game every now and again, just as, like, a nice little casual. Probably not for YouTube, because I don't know how popular this will actually be on the YouTube channel. Um, who knows? You know, I've, I've been wrong before, like, upload a video and everybody loves it, and I'm just sitting there like, why on earth does everyone want to watch this video of all things? Um, but anyway, uh, you know, just a casual little game, just play, just relax, you know? Like, get myself a nice glass of whiskey, you know? Actually, bourbon, I don't drink whiskey, but, um, yeah, you know, could be, could be pretty nice. This is another big one. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, uh, da, da, da. I mean, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Let's see what it's like trying to hook this thing from underwater. Oh, wow. Another pretty big one there. Come on. There we go. And we press and hold. Uh, is everyone here? And another smallmouth bass. Oh, yeah. See, it gets a little broken when it does this. Wow, okay, so this one's worth quite a lot. Uh, we'll just release it for the good old XP there. Uh, let's see how the stuff's doing here. Not really that great, actually. We're we're not really doing super hot as far as the you know, we're not we're not catching the right fish. You know, there's there's a right kind of fish, and you know, we're not catching it. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, you know. If this ends up being popular and people want more of it, definitely let me know in the comments or on the Discord. And I will, uh... Yeah. I like the bird shadow just slightly above the water there. I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh, there we go. That was a good spot. Just gotta... Slowly reel it in. Slowly reel it in. You know, let it let it itself out. I have no idea if that's a thing uh, in this particular uh, game or not. Uh, none whatsoever. What I should do is come back here, like, end game, you know, and just have, like, the literal best line and just hook these things and not give a crap. <laughs> just, you know, just reel it in with, you know, some really nice line that I can't get to because it's, you know... Apparently, I can't shop, so. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hang on now. Hang on now, buddy. You're getting there. You're getting closer to me. I see ya. I see ya. There we go. All right, let's see what we hooked here. Ah, excellent. Another smallmouth bass. D Wait a minute. Is this the one that I like just literally hooked? You know what? I'm going to I'm going to keep wow, it's worth a lot. I'm just going to keep this one. That was pretty funny. Okay, so what we're going to do cuz uh we're going to exit location here. And again, I'm just catching bass for whatever strange bizarre reason. And uh where is how do I get back to the residence? Uh Profile. Ah, there we go. Go to residence. Actually, open fishing net? Ah, there we go. Oh, cool. I can I can release it anytime I want. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, okay. Okay. 
Oh, so it gets bigger, so I can't keep everything. Well, that's pretty good. I actually think that's pretty cool. All right, so let's see here. Left mouse button. Can I manage? Can I, I actually can't manage the aquarium, by the way. Uh, all right, let's go over here. Maybe it'll be over in here. Nope. Uh... Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Um. All right. Now, I don't know where they go specifically. Oh, there it is. Yes. Neat. All right, where's the other one at? Uh. Is there another aquarium around here that I don't know anything at all about? I mean, I know there were two fish in there, but... Ah, there we go. Okay, so I just had to wait a second or walk away from it. Yeah. Look at him. Ah, there we go, buddy. There you go. Make sure everybody gets fed. And I'll just drop a whole bunch, actually. You know what? Just be like, ah, there you go. Get fat. Get big. Yes. Oh, and I can release and sell them literally whenever I want. Maybe they'll get bigger. Thank you. Come on, buddies. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Okay, everyone. I'm going to I'm going to stop here. But uh, yeah, this is this is ultimate fish. It's similar. It's just a relaxing game. Um, you know, and before we leave, you know, you can go check out the shop. There's tons of extra accessories you can buy, like, uh, you know, rod support, a signalizer territory. Uh, there's a bunch of different hooks, as we saw. There's only one feeder basket, multiple leaders. Uh, you can buy floats, lines. Let's see what the, you know, more expensive line is uh, down here at the bottom. Uh, strength, almost 50 kilogram line. Yeah, that would be nice to bring back because I doubt there's a fish big enough for that. You can just, you know, literally just yank it. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Some reels. Ooh, 20,000 for the big spin. Oh my goodness. What kind of rods do we have down here at the bottom? Robinson Carbon Nordic Pilk 300 centimeter spinning rod. Nice. And of course, you know, there are a bunch of different kinds of rods, of course. And then, of course, the home page. You know, you can just buy like a beginner kit, which is pretty interesting, but you have to have the level for it, which we most certainly do not have the level for. Um, you know, if I exit the location pretty quick, I think I have to exit the location. I'm not really sure on this. Uh, uh, skills. Yeah, we're, we're still working our way up to it. Unfortunately. Yeah, we have 46 XP. I've caught seven. I have no tournaments won. I don't even know how to participate. Oh, here we go. There's a tournament. Daily tournament. Regular tournament. Oh, you have to pay money to join the tournament. Nice. Nice. Maybe that'll make for an interesting uh, video there. Uh, oh, I can create my own tournament. Nice. With an entry fee and everything. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, so maybe everybody can, like, fish at the same time? I'm not I'm not really sure. That's, that's pretty cool. You have to have an entry fee and then duration of the tournament. That's pretty neat. Uh, I like that. That's actually, like I said, that's, that's really cool. I didn't realize that I'd actually quit the game there. So anyhow, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that little bell. You know, if you want to get some of them good old notifications and as well, um, if you'd like to support this channel, you can hit the join button or a link in the description and you become a member, get access to all sorts of lovely little perks. And last but not least, don't forget to join the Discord where you can join a very lovely community and so forth. And now I am done advertising and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.